Hey guys. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Um, let me just get one thing clear. I know you guys are like tired of me talking about this, but I am really, really fed up with my coordinator. Okay. He is in so much trouble right now, it is not even funny. He better hope I never ever see him ever in my life. I'm not the type of person that will harm someone and I don't plan on harming anybody, but he better hope I never ever run into him ever again. Um, not that I have, but I, I, it is because of him and he's the reason why I am, I had to go through what I had to go through. He is the reason why, okay? Um, now because I am intelligent enough and I am making it and I am better off, you know, but the thing is, is that that should not have happened. That should not have happened the way it had happened. Um, because I had all my receipts and I had everything that I needed in order to fight this battle. And the person that issued out the complaint was supposed to support me, but she chose to be scary about it. Okay. And Paige is her name. Paige decided to be scary about it, and the other guy that was working with the deco, his name was also Chris, but he also decided to be scary about it, and that's not good enough for me, so in the future, if I ever see them two, I do not ever, 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 I'm never going to explain myself and how I feel to them, they're going to ask me how I was doing, I'm not going to answer it. If they're going to ask me how things have come along, I'm not going to answer it. Because why would you want to know when you could have helped me when it was time to help me and I had to go through all this stuff? Now, you may not know how much stuff I had to go through. I'm better off now. Yes, I am. And thank God. But still, I had to go through some things. And I will forgive the past and things, but I won't forget that what happened so when people show me that type of side of them when it is hindering someone from uh, maintaining a um, a steady income which was providing um, a roof over my head and um, for me to um, have things in order to survive out here knowing that I don't have family to help to support me Knowing that I am a very good worker and I had no complaints and I had perfect attendance, when you allow a good person to go under the table like that because you want to keep your job and you're scared to speak up, no matter what, you will no longer ever in your life receive any type of stability from me because you have determined who, what type of person you are at heart right in front of me not behind my back but really in front of me okay they did it behind my back because in front of me they were agreeing with everything I said but this is how I know they were scary because they did not fight it they did not say anything that will provide me um, um, a circumstance of still being there they decided to be scary about it and not, but see, they didn't want to jeopardize their own job, their own title, because they knew that the boss was racist and he had an issue, and it was either him or them. But if they were bright enough and intelligent, they would know that he couldn't do nothing to them because they're in a different department and they have a different boss. So to speak, they just didn't want any type of confusion or, and it wouldn't even be confusion because it was all truth laid out on the table. So they didn't want any type of problem with him knowing that the problem was going to be between me and him. At the end of the day, he was the problem and I was right. 
and they agreed to it but they were scared because they were going to lose a job now they should not have been scared because he was wrong and it was just shown I mean it was just basically demonstrated you know in person on paper on the computer documentations and all I can understand that eventually, you know, they were going to have to run into him again and get some advice from him. And they didn't want that type of grudge or tension to be there when the next time they come and ask him for something, which is understandable. That was the reason why I wrote my, my statement, because if I didn't, I was going to be looked at as I wasn't doing any work. And... Because I did write my statement, then I, I already knew that there was going to be some tension if he was to find out that I had wrote the statement. But you know what? I thought that he was going to be man about it. I thought he was literally going to be mature about it and say, oh, I am doing this wrong. I am showing favoritism. I did let this person walk around, do nothing, and overlook the person that was really working you know i thought that he was going to do that but no he wasn't okay so i was right from the jump okay he was showing favoritism and he didn't want no one else to know about it but some people are intelligent and they aren't going to say anything but they can see what's going on okay so i don't know why that is such a big issue for people to understand but if you're intelligent you don't need an explanation you don't need a sorry you don't need anyone to explain themselves because you can see what's going on. So, paper, no paper. Over the phone, no phone. On the computer, no computer. On camera, no camera. Face to face is the right way to have confrontation. And he could not handle that. So, that's why I wrote my statement. Because I could have spoken to him in person and told him. But this is how I can determine how he was racist. Because when someone is racist, not only does the liars not look you in the eye, but he could not look me in my eye. Any person that tried to tell him that he was doing something wrong that he was not supposed to be doing, he looked down. Okay, that's what happens when you get down south. Some of the white people, they don't look you in the eye. They look down. Why can't they look you in the eye? Because they know they are wrong for everything that they're doing. Now, some people who aren't, now, even if you aren't that color and you are of color, even some other liars don't look you in the eye. But certain racist people have uh, the same demeanor. And the same type of characteristics. So there is no trying to cut corners. Okay. Some people are intelligent. And they know. They may not tell you. Okay. Because that's the intelligent part about it. For a person to not even let you know. That they're there. Okay. But that's some people. Okay. Now. The fact that. He, I was in there. And I was able to determine. Who he was picking and choosing. To chastise knowing he was showing favoritism allowing this person to do what they wanted to do or that person and let me know right then and there that he had favoritism and there was no if ands or buts about it okay now I could like I said I could have been um I could have been ratchet and just went off on charts on them because some people actually have but because that's embarrassing to me, I'm not. That's not my type of characteristic that I show. That's just not the type of heart that I have. I did the right thing by going to human resources and writing my complaint. Okay, as professional, as homemade, as raw, as detailed as you can possibly think of. And he did not like the fact that I was intelligent enough to actually write that on there. Okay. Yes, I did still speak to him and say, hey, how you doing? Good morning and stuff like that. I sure did. Because you, I sure did. Why not? What you thought I was going to show you attitude all day and then write the statement? No, I'm going to keep respecting you and then write my statement and then keep on respecting you. Because I was raised right. 
That's how you can tell somebody was saved and somebody is not. When you're not saved, you're going to determine your own characteristics without you even telling somebody else what your characteristics are. It's showing. You don't need to explain yourself. And then we go around hearing that um, he goes to tea. He's a Christian guy. He goes to church on every Sunday. Well, baby doll, sweetheart, darling, I can't tell. Okay, a, a saved person can tell if another person is saved or not, and I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. He might have came to work with his shirt tucked in, but okay, and. So, yes, I feel some type of way, and I am literally sitting here trying to figure out why that has happened the way that it did. As there's no other way, I am intelligent enough to determine why that happened. He did not want to get caught, okay? He wanted to do what he wanted to do, even if it was regarding breaking the rules, or if it was regarding following the rules, and... The race car. I pulled the race car so quick because I seen it. I read the demeanor. Okay, so there is no trying to explain or maybe he was just no. There is no maybe. Okay, some of you guys don't want to, don't want the truth because you think that as soon as I say the truth, then other people are going to start believing and then it's going to be a chain reaction. I'm sorry, the chain reaction goes on right now as I speak. The chain reaction is going to go on regardless if I was to speak up or not. So what difference would it make? Get somebody else to coordinate. The guy, that coordinator has had so many complaints and they still decide to keep him. I have a problem with that. I have a very big problem with that. 